I'll pop the lock. Get to your work. But why is there faceless? Python. Yeah, you know what? Take out the python, please. So, once we get around to Patchwork's turn, I'll have her do that. In the meantime, Glock the Faceless. And Patchwork. Actually, successful shots with stun. Maybe I should have Patchwork hit the Legionnaire. Good. And Berserker! That should be four stuns. That's the server. Now stop them from wiping its data. Now don't worry, that's gonna be a simple task. To start with, let's co-op with Patchwork. Because, like, this... She can get into the room, bulk the faceless. And if I position her here, then she's passing by this unit and will hopefully zap it. No? Arrested another target. Damn. I was hoping she'd zap it. Oh well. What enemies have we got here? Bonk the Legionnaire. If we get suppressed five enemies, then that's an instant 20 intel. I might just shoot for that. Oh boy. Oh, lovely. Duel is an interesting Took ailment. I can manage. Because, yep, if I remember stitches. correctly, Duel is essentially, oh hey, I'm going to target you, you're getting out of cover, your cover will be ignored immediately. I think, at least. Such, very dangerous. Shrapnel. You know what? Throwing shrapnel. Plug it there. Just so you can hit this guy. And while you're at it... Should I boom the subtractor? I could at least throw a frag. Tossing frag. And you know what? If it at least damages the Praetorian, might as well. Then from there, let's take out the subtractor. Boop. Excellent outset. Patchwork, get to the objective. To move. As good a place as any. And download those several GB of E6. From there. Oh, hmm. I think I'll do that. Because it's at least going to get rid of your armor. Make you easier to deal with. Next up. Poison. Probably poison the Praetorian. Take a deep breath. Just to make him a little easier to deal with. He's just gonna keep stacking armor every time he gets damaged. At least if he's poisoned, he's taking guaranteed damage. He'll be easier to deal with. Peg the Berserker. And he's going full in rage.
let's team uh patchwork deals guaranteed damage so what I could do is take a long shot at the Praetorian if I could chip him down Ah, uh, great Because I was hoping that I could chip him down enough that I could guarantee a kill using uh, Patchwork's Genie Bolt. I can't exactly do that now. If I do this, we'll zap him. Perfect. Training paid off. Nice. Then from there, I guess throw a plasma. Throwing plasma. Because I have to at this point. It's a guaranteed damage, and it gets him within chain and gold range. Shocking hostile. Perfect. <sighs> if Claymore didn't get wounded, that would have been flawless. But hey, that's still a pretty good effort. And we got our intel. Always nice. Let's see, that's still got a day. That's still. All these have got a day left. Lovely. Improved spec ops. Allows two agents to be assigned to spec ops. Oh, hell yeah, I need that. I definitely need that. So once progeny equipment finishes, we're getting on that. We're going to need that. Because that effectively means that it's, our idle agents are going to be more useful. We could have someone just doing general tension mitigation using humanitarian aid, and then the other person probably... Either getting us some additional materials, or getting us free field teams. Or hell, free items from the scavenger market is always nice. You're capped up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But bright side, Friday is coming up. So once that rolls around, you'll be back down to three. Gain extra situation rewards. And what stitches have we got this time? Illyrium and Intel. I do need more Intel. Or does that just bag it for us instantly? Cool. That's even better. Because now, if I want, I can just spend this Intel. Let's see, what have you got? Hmm. I need more teams to be at level 2, so probably just up you. Advance to the next day. Looking to sink your teeth into something delicious? Why not give Burger Palace a try? We have everything you need to fill your belly, or bellies, depending on your species. Our mouth-watering patties are grown from a kelp-derived protein base designed to appeal to everyone. Pending approval from the Global Truth and Reconciliation Commission, you can find us in most city centers. Burger Palace. New name, new location, same great taste. According to... Bits of trivia and, well, TV tropes. It's vaguely hinted at that Burger Palace is actually a reformatted Advent Burger. I can kind of see that, considering it's like, oh crap, we're on the lo we were on the losing side of the war. Uh, we need to rebrand fast, make it more appealing for everyone. At the end of it, maybe it worked. Maybe. Anyways. Training has completed for Blue Blood. Finally. So he gets a free reload no matter what now. 
Zephyr is going to need to undergo training next, just so she can restore to normalcy. Next item we buy from the scavenger market is free. I think the next thing we'll want is... A mass unrest reduce? So, shelter? Get on that, please. And... Improved Spec Ops. The sooner we can get that before Act 3, the better, because we're gonna need more people going out Spec Ops more often. Crap. That's not what I was looking forward to. Uh, if I don't deal with it, I'm gonna suffer for it. But this is so much good shit! Mm, this hurts. This hurts. Unless I really feel like I'm caught between a rock and a hard place now. On the bright side, though, we do have a few new items at our disposal. Disposal? What? Relocation disc. Tra teleport to a nearby location. You can use this even while rooted. If you end up being in a very bad position, then having a relocation disc can be very, very useful. Especially for units that rely on mo their mobility in order to do things like, say, patchwork or uh, zephyr. Talon rounds. Increase the crit chance and extra damage on crits. Blue blood needs this. Like, non negotiable. Because his big thing is I do a lot of shots and I do them quickly. Adding a crit rate on top of that will make him filthy. And of course, the last one is the mind shield, which negates psionic effects. Except for damage. Not bad, but not great, great. Yeah, honestly, I'm probably just gonna do need a ride, because Acid Grenade will explode in an area, deal poison damage to everyone near to any enemies within it. Hazmat Ceiling is an armor piece that you can use to completely mitigate poison and, I believe, also smoke? I could be wrong on that one. In addition, it's also going to get some more intel, some more credits. I do need to get rid of the anarchy here. But I feel like getting these rewards is going to be more useful in the long run. Is it a good decision? No. But it's my bad decision to make. I'll regret it shortly. Acquired friendly VIP. Hostiles incoming. Get to the evac. Oh shit. It's a VIP mission. Well, we're screwed. Units automatically enter Overwatch after the breach, and first unit through gets armor for the entirety of the uh, encounter. Maybe I should have that be Claymore or Terminal. Probably Claymore, since he has the lowest health and the lowest armor, and he and unlike Torque, isn't relying on a dodge chance. Because seriously, when Torque gets her dodge chance off, it's amazing. Moving in. That should do. And begin. Get to work, everyone. One alert enemy. Deal with it quickly. In the meantime, two troopers. The hitmen. Three troopers. Take care of the hitmen. Good, good. Okay. 
And lastly... Alright. There's your VIP. Spotted the target. I'm not gonna enjoy this. How far do I need to- oh god, planes are really far. Right side, Claymore is going first. So what I can do... ...is throw a little party starter. I can work with that. Frag? Oh shit, there's a civilian! No! Okay, good. The civvy is safe. You know what? Let's... Let's Shift mitigate an position. error on my part. Go on. Get going. <laughs> Never ask me to be your protection duty. <laughs> I think that's the lesson that we've learned today. Because evidently, I'm just gonna nuke the nearest civilian to out of existence. God damn it, me! You know what, Sippy? Go there. Hunker down. Keep those doors closed. Meanwhile. Oof. The goal is not to hit the armor. About that. I think we did more than just hit the armor right there. If I may. Ooh. Faceless. Enjoy. Because your melee attacks suck. And I'd rather not deal with them. Meanwhile, Bruiser, get down get here. Over here. Have a oh, bad day. That's another enemy dealt with. Again, if you dare. What were you even aiming at, dude? Like, really? Someone needs to invest in a better eye pace. Oh well. Throwing plasma. Little damage to you. And while we're at it. Bonk him in the face. Arrested another target. Excellent. Moving to position. It didn't connect. So now let's co op the civvy. Just to move him out. On the next available turn, I could have Torque move up somewhere and then pull him closer. Actually, if anything, let's co op with Torque. So that way, she can potentially move up here, grip the civvy over. And in the meantime, you! One HP. One HP? One HP. Hope you took a bath today. Yoink. Incoming reinforcement phase. No? 
That's not what I confirmed, game. What are you doing? All right. We don't know where enemies are going to be coming in from. So, honestly... Move up there, Claymore. And... No, that's not good. I essentially need the uh, city to book it. Lock him? Almost enough. Right side, I could have Patchwork deal with it on her turn. And in the meantime, have the Civvy move. I guess here. He'll make it. Taking the long way around, I see. Get hustle. <laughs> uh. Boop. Target is under arrest. I can't co-op, but I can at least have terminal move up and potentially watch. Let's ever watch that direction, just in case. Meanwhile, Torque. Can move here. And watch this direction. That'll do. Good thing she watched in that direction, because I think she caught a hostile. Yep, she did. City should be able to evacuate this turn, so... Claymore. Terrible idea time. Throw a shrap. That should hopefully deal with you. In the meantime... You don't shoot Torque. Shoot that trooper. Really? It's fine. It's fine. At least the civvy's out. You move up. Get watched. You're it's probably gonna take charge. a shot, Claymore. Thought so. Nice miss. Close, but still a miss. Meanwhile, you take a bit of damage. Car doesn't blow up. That's fine. Patchwork. Move there, and I think you can chaining bolt one of these guys. Target. Marginal Zap. as always. You move up. Let me guess. Shoot torque. Miss. Hit the top. Knocked a few scales off. Damn it! I mean, technically it was a miss, but it was a graze. It's all right. You can manage. Let's see, I won't be getting my co-op until like next turn. So if anything, let's just have Terminal book it. Torque. Move up. And let's see if you can't grip uh, Claymore. Perfect. Bring him closer. 
that way, next turn, he should be able to get out. Well, throw a pineapple and get out. I am low on ammunition. You'll be fine, dude. Okay, never mind the pineapple. Just get out. Don't look back. The others will shoot them with their guns. Heading to location. You're going to fire. Engaging. Medic! Really? Oh, wait, I'm the medic. Do you need some help? Can it's anyone fine. cover me? Patchwork. As one final ask. I want you to shock an enemy that has yet to go. Kill them. Then evacuate. The training paid off. Cause that way we'll have a little less to deal with. Moving to location. You're going to shoot, probably. On me. I blanked on Terminal's name. I knew she was gonna get shot at, but hey. And... You'll co up with Torque. Just so she can evacuate. And with luck, Terminal can join her. Perfect. Headed worm needed. Terminal MVP. And roll the dice. Let's see if we get that intel. We do not. Oh well. The high quality of Grey Phoenix leadership is what keeps their people loyal. Disrupt their chain of command. Without leaders, their lower ranks will be more willing to talk. I can't find my take ad. It was in the fridge. Your what? Food? From that old world fusion place near the promenade? Ah, you mean your takeaway. What did you order? A rice stew with that new strain of flavored carrot. The one that tastes of rabbit? That's the one. H have you seen it? No, but if you do, could I try a bite? It sounds delicious. Unbelievable. Hey, at least he didn't eat it like Terminal did. Just saying. Uh, he probably learned from last time, Mitch, the monkey container, but even then, considering it tasted like a rabbit, I wouldn't be surprised if Twerk was the one who yoinked it. But anyway, speaking of leaving things unmarked, Patchwork has got an upgrade. With Stasis Field, she can essentially put an ally in stasis, making sure that they cannot act, but they also don't take any damage and shed off all aggro. You can also use it on enemies to lock them down. Very useful for controlling crowds. Well, that's just Patchwork's specialty. And we've got our story mission available, so we're probably going to get to that. But first, City Anarchy drops. Protect the hydroelectric plant. Hmm. Do I want to buy more equipment, change the party? Probably change the party. As much as I like patchwork, we're gonna need some crowd, some better crowd clearing. So, blue blood. While we're at it, I should probably unequip her. Patchwork, give me your equipment. There we go. Hmm. 
now to equip blue blood properly. 85 aim. And with that, it goes up to 95. For utility item, again, talent rounds. Really useful. You can only have one set of rounds at a time, so I can't put the tracers on him. I can, however, give him an acid grenade. Reaching charge. Yep, immunity to all status, environmental statuses. So that's poison, that is fire, that is probably smoke as well. Honestly, I'll give him a plated vest. He needs a second weapon on. I do have quite a bit of money, so maybe I could just buy one from the shop. What do we got here? Expanded mech. Okay, so he's gonna need that. Nothing else for you. Armor piercers, flashbang. Terminal doesn't necessarily need the nano med. So I'll probably give her tracer rounds. Hmm. Maybe give Blue Blood the Nanomed just to save. That way I can give Claymore the acid. And just so you can hold something, I don't think I'll need to use you, but at least hold on to that. The plasma grenade I should probably uh, put on somewhere. Probably gonna be a mistake. We'll see. came through for us. They identified a Gray Phoenix lieutenant at a hydroelectric plant. Gray Phoenix is moonlighting at a power company. <laughs> Are you joking? Yeah, because being able to shut down half the city's power grid is hilarious. Not when you put it like that. Besides, it's actually a pretty good cover, all things considered. Gray Phoenix, uh, Gray Phoenix is all like, we have the power. We have the- we require the power! Why not give them the power? All units entering here gain defense, or last unit through is marked. Yeah, let's not use that door, like, ever! Everyone, pour in. Uh... Game? 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 Son of a... Thank you. No thank you. Game, what are you doing? Load, please. What are you doing? You shouldn't be doing this. Yep, we have a full-on crash. Oh wait. Maybe it's working. 
Maybe it's not. That looks, uh... Really garbled from blue blood there. Yep. It's fully crashed. <sighs> lovely. Just, just lovely. Abso-fucking-lovely. I mean, it's like, yo, dog, we heard you had an ideal setup. It would be a shame if someone were to, oh, I don't know, flip the table. Ugh. Now I gotta wait for this to dump. But don't worry. We'll be uh, adding back time appropriately. Okay, it's completed. Good. So with luck, we should be able to restart and hopefully be fine. I'm crossing my fingers. As usual with my uh, experiences with games crashing, while I'm fucking streaming them, I, uh, I've adopted a three-strike rule. If a game crashes three times, then I scrap the day and play whatever. So dubbed, because of Starbound, actually. <laughs> uh, I, in lieu of that particular thinger, I almost want to name it the uh, the fracking crash. Is the fracking crash rule? That's just gonna be a long-standing thing now. If a game crashes three times, scrap the day. Let's try this again, this time with a little less failure. Like seriously, out of all days to crash, it had to be today? I always hit the wrong button. Like... We were celebrating my sister's birthday today, and everything. Like, is her weird karmic luck just seeping me? I don't know. Also, additional note, happy birthday to Rune Green of Night. Green PD came through for us. They identified a gray phoenix lieutenant at a hydroelectric plant. How'd they figure it out? Well, some of the intel we sent. Gave them the missing pieces they needed. It's always good to share. Now let's try this again, this time with a little less crashing. Everyone go through here. 